So you could say that this is gonna be a mini video. This is in the middle of the install of my new engine and transmission with a new stall uh, torque converter and wiring, holly, the whole shebang. This thing's getting uh, an overhaul. Anyways, I figured I'd make a mini video on my train horns because I got pretty creative with the install and I believe it came out pretty well. So I'm gonna show you how I mounted the horns, where I put the tank and pretty much how I did the split between the three horns, the solenoid and some of the basic wiring that I did for the install. So to start, I mounted all three of the train horns right up here in the front. Uh, this is two. I kind of fabricated a bracket out of a piece of aluminum. I used uh, a couple of bulkhead A and fittings to double as the mounting bolt and the fitting that would the uh, air feed to the horns. Now, if we go to the bottom, here you can see the bottom of the horns. Now, you have to remember that this would have the trim. This would have an air dam right here, which I removed out of this one to install in the other one. But anyways, so in, in other words, you wouldn't be able to see any of this. These are the two that you can see bolted up to the top. And then you have the third one that is attached to the bumper. Um, I actually fabricated a bracket. Hold on, if I can get you some better, better angle. You can actually see. You actually see the bracket right there. Uh, pretty much same concept. So pretty much you can see the, the bracket right there. Uh, so I used the same concept as I did above, bulkhead fitting to hold it to the bracket, airline going through that fitting, bracket onto the, bolt, the bumper bolt. And then over here, you can see the manifold that feeds the horns with the solenoid and then the airline that goes to the rear. This line was actually pretty easy to run back just because I already had the methanol line running towards the back. And pretty much I just follow it side by side into the trunk. Um, it all goes above this area right here. Now this is the line that is being fed from the air compressor that is going towards the solenoid. And again, like I mentioned before, this is running with my methanol line that if you watch my previous video, you saw me take it off. But pretty much here's where I had the setup for the secondary of the methanol kit. But anyways, this is the line that goes to the pump in the back, and this is the air line that goes to the air compressor. So anyway, now we're in the trunk. Uh, this is the air compressor that is feeding the air horns. You're gonna have to forget all this mess. I'm in the middle of overhauling the car. But uh, yeah, so this is the line that would be feeding the manifold up in the front. The air compressor and the tank is a kit that I bought off of Amazon. And it comes with a pressure switch, and it comes with hardware for you to mount the pump either on the tank or off on its own, uh, like remote remote location. Uh, what I ended up doing here is, let's see if I move some of these parts that I can show you. Once I received the kit, I kind of uh, measured around. Originally it was supposed to go on that side, but because of the shape of the car, the pump would have hit. And if it turned this around, I would have had to take apart the head of the air compressor to spin it around. It was more work than I wanted it to do and I didn't want to damage it in the process. So I just switched to the other side. And then this side, since this uh, area of the floor is not level, I had to make a stand. And pretty much that's where my, my pump bolts because as you can see, half of it would have been in the air. But yeah, so that one's right on the body. This one's on there. And then that leads me to the next part, which is the electronics. Uh, pretty much that is on the ignition switch with a kill switch. In other words, if I don't, if I bleed the air and I don't want it to fill up when I turn the car back on, I can turn it off, which is right there. And yeah, not too proud of my grounding job, but I did the job. So if you feel like you would like a more detailed video, just let me know in the comments and I'll work on it. Again, since I'm overhauling the car, I got a bunch of material that I can actually make uh, content out of. Uh -huh. 